I'm doing a video, video. Okay, so I've tried to shoot this video like a couple times. Uh, I already drove out to Highlands Park and there was like a weed blower dude. It's usually the quietest place in Ben Lomond, but apparently I had to show up on the day that they were gonna do some weed blowing. So now I have a barking dog. So, but I gotta make this video what to say uh, yeah so coming out for a second time real fun I am now one month and a week one month and one week um, on testosterone uh, so I wanted to make sure to make this video before it got too late and things were changing and then I have no documentation of it so I could just make one video and just kind of share my thoughts and my feelings and my process as kind of I've come to realize that I'm transgender so um, I'm super open to talk to any of you about this and answer questions just remember that uh, to be sensitive with your question asked Asking, um, but I'm super happy to talk with any of you about it. Um, it's really exciting to me. So feel free to reach out because I think a lot of people have a lot of different questions about it. And uh, I think the main question that I've got so far has been like, did you always know? Did you always know that you were trans? Did you always know that you wanted to be a boy? Um, so it's really not that simple for me. Um, but um, I'm sure it doesn't come as a surprise to many of you that know me. Um, so yeah, I guess going back to being a kid, um, I don't think I had, I didn't have the language for what transgender meant or what queer meant or any of that. Um, I grew up pretty conservative um, and didn't have that language around that. I didn't even know what a lesbian was. So when I came out as, you know, as gay, um, I didn't even know what that, really what that was. I had no one in my life that was a role model to show me that it was gonna be okay and this is what it's like and hey we're just normal people that love women so uh, yeah so no I didn't always know um, I would say that I've never felt comfortable being a girl and that's never felt right to me um, so I mean ever since I can really remember I've never identified with being a girl and always wanted to be a little boy I remember when I was little probably like six or something I remember going up to people and the way I would introduce myself is be like hi my name's Stacy and I'm a tomboy um, so I think that's really cute and kind of telling I also just always have always dressed in boys clothes ever since I was little um, but it's it's weird to like try to break that down because like what's girl what's boy what's feminine what's masculine so I mean do you know that this is just my story and my own coming out story I know a lot of trans men that know from the time that they were young that they were transgender and that's their that's you know they knew uh, for me I think I just was like well I'm a girl and I guess I'm gonna make the best of it so that's what I've been trying to do for the last 32 years and you know to be honest I'm pretty proud of myself but the gender thing has always kind of continually come up through the years for me um, and it would come up and then I would kind of think to myself well like, am I a boy? Should I be a boy? Is this even possible? Uh, what does that look like? Is it worth it to go through all of these like hormones and these surgeries and all of that? Maybe I just need to be okay with myself. So, you know, um, in 2010, I went to massage school because I was like, I need to get in touch with my body and be more in my body. So I did that, you know, and I've, uh, been practicing yoga and I've been practicing meditation and different things to like really connect my mind with my body and my heart and my soul um, but it continues to keep coming up for me um, so this last November I was living in Utah and actually my really good friend Sal who I love Sal I hope that you watch this and thank you so much um, she and I had like a really heart-to-heart -heart conversation about um, like gender identity and gender dysphoria. And then meanwhile, that same month, uh, two of my really good friends came out as transgender over the internet and over Facebook. And it was like two people I could actually like reach out to. Um, so in December, this last December, 
I reached out to uh, my two buddies that I knew, actually my three buddies that I knew, uh, that just transitioned within the last few years. Um, and really just got to like have some awesome conversations with them. And at that point it was like, boom, okay, this is what I need to deal with. I had moved back home to Santa Cruz. Uh, so I've been doing therapy for the last, I don't know, four months or something like that. Um, and talking to like a gender therapist. Yeah, this winter it was just like lots of questioning, lots of like, is this worth it? What does that look like? What does it look like to be trans? What am I transgender? And I, I've known for a long time that I'm like very two spirited. And so it's not as simple for me as like, I want, I'm a, I'm a girl and I want to be a boy over here, right? You know, um, and I've known that it hasn't been that simple, but I didn't really realize like how much gender is on a spectrum as is sexuality. But for me, the best way that I can describe it is that like, I'm somewhere in the middle here. Let's say like girl over here, boy over here, you know, um, that I fall a lot more on the masculine spectrum of that. Um, and unfortunately, Unfortunately, because of my body and the way that it is, people read me as female. And I really feel a lot more often masculine, um, like masculine of center. <laughs> That's a term I just learned. Anyways, I just had to throw that term out there, masculine of center, just meaning like your center identifies with a more masculine way of being in this world. Um, and I would definitely say that's true. So the best way I could describe it, which I said to my dad when I came out to him, I said, the best way I can describe it is that like, I wanna be seen as a feminine, as a feminine man, not as a masculine woman. Um, because I'm not trying to change anything about me. Um, I'm just trying to make it that my outside matches more of like who I am and who I feel like I am on the inside, if that makes any sense. Um, I came out to my mom in December and that was really hard. I just like bawled my eyes out to her and was just like, this is what's going on for me and it's just like so much. Um, and my mom was like so kind and so sweet and was just like honey like you've never I like you've never been happy being a girl you know and it was just like so relieving and affirming to hear my mom say that my story is not about me hating myself my story is like about me loving myself enough to allow myself to be whoever it is that I need to be in this world and to show up that way, regardless of what anybody else thinks, regardless of what my family or my friends think, that this was like the most individual choice I've ever had to make in my life. You know, I remember asking my mom, like, do you think I should go through with this transition? Do you think I should start hormones? And my mom said, honey, I like, I can't answer you that. That's your own, this is so your own journey. You know, I've never had to make such a decision that it's like only, only I can make that decision, you know? No one else's opinion really matters in the end of it. It's like, I have to decide to do this myself or not, right? Ultimately, it has to be my decision to do that. Um, so it was, you know? And, you know, my story is about me loving myself enough to allow myself to be transgender in this world and that that is just another beautiful form of our humanness so I feel like I really have started this journey in like a really healthy space in my life um, and I feel really excited about that I've been doing a bunch of yoga and I feel like the yoga has been like a huge piece um, in my journey of being okay with myself and 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 taking the leap and the step to actually make this transition happen um, you know there just were so many questions in my mind that you know I had to realize like you know whenever you embark on a new journey you're never gonna just you're never just gonna be like all right I have all the answers and here we go you know it's like part of embarking on a new journey is the not knowing I have enough of the answers and I've weighed out the like the risk versus benefit and this seems like this is the right decision for me and go right and there's just kind of this like boom this leap that you kind of just have to make so I've made the leap um, and honestly it feels so good I just I like I want to share also like how exciting this is for me how excited I am to like have a body that I identify with and like to watch all the changes I'm gonna try to document all the changes and try to make videos every once in a while and post them for you guys um, please feel free to reach out to me and especially for any of you, you that may be struggling with your own gender identity like 
reach out, reach out to other people that have done it, that are going through it. Like it's so important to like have community. You don't have to do this alone. You don't have to do this journey alone. I've had so many supportive people in my life. So I'm happy, I'm well. I'm missing the river a little bit. I'm not doing the river this summer just cause I wanted to kind of have a little bit more of a balanced um, life. So I'm just working like four days a week and then hanging out and doing me for three days a week, which is perfect. Um, yeah, because I just need time to get to know myself all over again. So I love you um, and thank you so much for listening to my story. And yeah, and be well, beautiful humans, beautiful humans.